Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good and you. Fine, thank you for being here on time. Let's see who else is here. Rafael, Mercy, Suma, Eliu, and Rodrigo. You are in advance, right? All right, teacher. Hello, Eliu. How are you? I'm not bad. With a son in uh, in convenient uh, in trying to to connect with the with the platform because I am on in a in a rural area right now mm -hmm. and the Wi-Fi is not uh, good enough. Uh, uh, there are some problems because the it's uh, it begin to rain here. It's raining there. It's, it's almost trying, trying because it's in the western area of the country in La Union. Okay, I understand. Okay. I'm sorry for that, but uh, we are going to start uh, a little bit slowly today. No problem. Okay. Now let's see here. As you already know, uh, we are going to start uh, Inglés Avanzado Módulo 2. This will be the first week. Uh, um, the classes normally are from Monday to Thursday. And uh, we normally work in those only those days from 8 to 9 p.m. Thank you for being on time. But um, we are going to have some changes here. Let's see here. For example, in um, May 1st is Dia del Trabajo, or Labor Day here in El Salvador. So we are not going to uh, come on May 1st, right? El primero de mayo, vacación. So we are going to uh, we are going to be working or we are going to have uh, the class on May the 5th, right? And also for, for May 10th, Dia de las Madres, we will have it free we'll have it off so we won't have classes those days so for you to organize your time and you already know that those days we will have it free uh some of you already know me some of you probably don't know me uh my name is Jorge Asensio uh, you can call me George or a uh, teacher or or I don't know right or Mr. Asensio as you can uh that will that, that will be that that is my name and I've been teaching English in these courses for some time right now. So uh, hopefully we were going to be learning a lot, practicing, and um, we're going to finish really, really fast this module. So I think that we won't have any problem. If you have any question or if you believe that I'm explaining something really fast, please tell me stop teacher explaining again or if it is kind of confusing provide more examples teacher etc right so if you have any question please let me know so uh first of all this will be the the rules right i have to explain these at the beginning of every class so everything is clear uh it's i will explain this in spanish uh, tareas y evaluaciones as you already know como ya saben uh, ocupamos la plataforma ustedes En este caso tienen cuatro secciones, no son cinco, sino que entonces en cada semana vamos a cubrir una sección y tiene un midterm exam. Si tienen algún problema al accesar con la plataforma, pues me dicen o con alguna de las tareas, ¿verdad? Aquí dice que es necesario obtener el 80% promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Entonces tienen que... Eh, completar al menos el 80%. Ahí pueden ver ustedes su progreso. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ella justo después de cada clase. Puede adelantar contenido. Por ejemplo, si ustedes eh, trabajan o están ocupados, pues pueden ustedes eh, pues adelantar ¿verdad? con las demás secciones. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. So, as, uh, como son las clases en línea, entonces, eh, si ustedes quieren, les puedo compartir ese, ese material, esa información también. 
como ya saben, solo tenemos cuatro semanas y cada semana vamos a cubrir una sección, porque en su caso nada más son cuatro secciones. Y nada más vamos a, no hay evaluaciones en sí, pero sí tienen que estar presentes y participar en las actividades, hacer las tareas, etc. Eh, normas de convivencia, ¿verdad? Botón silencio, si tienen algún ruido al fondo para que los demás escuchen, pueden estar en mute y pueden eh, pues abrir su micrófono cuando ustedes vayan a participar. Eh, su nombre completo tiene que estar en las pantallas. Eh, si es posible, pues tengan la cámara encendida. Yo sé que a veces están, pues, eh, no pueden porque están enfermos o están conduciendo, etcétera. Entonces, pero si se pueden mantenerla encendida, está bien. Participación activa, ¿verdad? Siempre tratar de participar en las clases, en las actividades, en las tareas. Uso de chats. Ya creo que ya estamos en el, en el, eh, en el chat. Creo que todos están en el WhatsApp Group. Entonces, ahí pueden eh, también hacer preguntas, levantar la mano para si tienen alguna pregunta y siempre mantener el respeto, ¿verdad? Porque hay diferentes eh, personas con diferentes puntos de vista, eh, etcétera. Así que siempre mantener el respeto en la clase. Este eh, curso lo vamos a iniciar hoy, que es 17 de abril. Y lo vamos a estar terminando, creo que después del Día de las Madres, el 12 de mayo sería viernes porque ese viernes creo que vamos a reemplazar ese miércoles 10 de mayo que, que les decía que vamos a tener libres entonces todas las clases van a tener una duración de 6 minutos ah, perdón de 60 minutos y este con siempre los horarios si tienen algún problema o alguna duda porque no pueden estar en la clase solo me avisan y yo pues lo voy a tomar en cuenta o a veces que no pueden participar, están enfermos, no pueden abrir el micrófono, nada más avíseme antes. Ok, so, do you have any questions, preguntas acerca de esto? No questions? Ok, so, I see here Rafael, Eliu, Mercy, Rosa, María, Zulma, Ana, Claudia, Rodrigo, Neidy, Noel, Erasmo, Porfirio, Rodrigo, Alejandra, José, Isaías, Alba, Diego, ah, oh, we have a lot, a Marvin, María, José Francisco, and Ana García. Okay, um, now tell me, how have you been uh, receiving your classes? ¿Cómo han estado recibiendo las clases? Eh, ¿Cómo, qué quisieran que fuera diferente, qué quieren practicar? Eso es lo que vamos a empezar hoy. Uh, since you are in advance, we are going to do this in English, right? Just to check your English. So we are going to, well, I, I can see your name, but you can tell me your name. Where are you from? What are your expectations from the class? What do you want to practice? Like if you want more listening, more speaking, if you want to talk more, if you want to, I don't know. Uh, also, how do you use English in your daily life? This is important because this is how you um combine it and you are not going to forget english right um because if you're here it's because you want to learn for something right to use it right and how do you use english in your daily why do you want to the reason why you want to learn so as you already know my name is jorge asensio nice to meet you all thank you for being here and your effort i uh, i didn't know if he if we have a volunteer un voluntario to introduce yourself to the class. Hi, my name is Ana. I live in Mexicanos. Mm -hmm. Well, one of my expectations is practice a lot because I need to practice my pronunciation. And the question, who do you use English in your daily life? Well, at this moment, I'm working at the office gurus. Mm -hmm. So, I really want to improve my English in order to continue growing inside the company. Okay, very good. And you're uh, working, taking calls or something like that? Yes. Okay. Call center agent. Yes. Call center. Okay, that's inter interesting. Very good. So English is important for you, right? Yes, a lot. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you, Anna. Um, let's see. So she wants to practice the the speaking, right? Let's see. Eliu, go ahead, please. 
Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Okay, my name is Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Uh, I am living in a rural area. Uh, as I told, as I tell, I told you some minutes ago. Uh, I usually work in San Salvador, but now I am having my own enterprise because I want to I want to to uh, to begin a, a ecotourism uh, enterprise, and that is the reason that I need to improve my English because I hope and I think that some have to attend many people from foreign countries because uh, I don't want to die without have these, uh, these um, dreams, this uh, to have a, a play when people came or come to 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 begin with the the natural naturaleza how do you say nature nature and with uh, mm, uh, 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 to have contact with uh, the cows uh, in a cattle ranch in a cattle ranch and fishing in a in a, in a in a song swimming in a in a, um, in a place that I have to grow uh, uh, fishes fishes pescados and uh, I am trying to I am by now I am only my my I am my manager I am a worker and I, I am I I I do everything here. I work a lot. Sometimes I feel tired during this uh, this moment, this this hour, because I began my day at 4 a.m. to milk the cows in the morning with the people who work with me. Then many things we need to prepare food for the animals. We need to clean areas and work a lot in in this uh, in this uh, tropical climate that we have in La Union. I am living in a vicinity of a lake. The lake is called Olomega. This is a property that my that I receive like a heritage with my sibling and I am working hard for accomplish these dreams. That all that I can tell you, tell everybody, tell to you. Okay, very good, Elio. Nice to meet you again. And it's good to hear that you're uh, working hard for your dreams. It's been a long day, but very good. Thank you for being here. Let's see, yeah. Porfirio Vasquez. How are you, Porfirio? Porfirio, are you there? Porfirio? No? Okay, very good. Someone else? Alguien más? Who wants to introduce to the class? Somebody else, please. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mercy Aguiluz. Mm -hmm. This is my first time being here, uh, taking class with you. Um, I live in Mexicanos. Mm, and about my work, uh, English is important for me. I want to improve my speaking and my pronunciation because I work in an English account in a call center too. Um, I don't receive calls because the, I work in a back office account, but sometimes I have to do some calls to airlines because uh, it has it is related to um, tourism industry um, 
I don't know what <laughs> what is. Uh, uh, what are your expectations? Yeah, what are your expectations about your class? Like, what 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 do you want to learn? How do you want to learn it? Like videos, like conversations, something like that. Because I I can hear that that you can you you have a high level of English because if you work in call centers, probably you you have a, a like an advanced level of, of English, right? Uh, not too high. <laughs> 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 yes, uh, I can understand uh, because I can uh, watch a lot of videos in English. I can read, uh, but uh, the problem for me is my speaking. Uh, I want to uh, improve my speaking. Um, that's why I would like to um, learn more. Or oh, how do I say it? Um, how a conversation? Mm -hmm. Because, um, for example, in my work, uh, if I have to contact a customer, uh, sometimes the customer can be angry. So <laughs> I want to improve my speaking because of that and how to manage that conversation with the customer. Um, also some pronunciation like uh, EV sounds because uh, I have been doing uh, some English tests on my work. And yes, I have uh, some feedbacks that I need to improve like the EV sounds or how to use the past tense. Uh, because sometimes I cannot use it. So uh, that's what I need to improve. Okay, very good. Thank you for that, Mercy. I guess that, that those are common, common uh, problems that all of us have because we don't practice like 24 seven English, right? But it is normal. Uh, we just need to practice a little bit more and that's it, right? I guess that you're in a good, you're in a good track right now with this and hopefully we will be able to help you and to practice a lot of English. Let's see someone else. Somebody else. Noel, go ahead, Noel. Noel Garcia, can you hear me? Okay, Porfirio, can you speak right now? Uh, <laughs> okay, somebody else? Let's see, Rafael Antonio. How are you, Rafael? Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you for asking. How how you been doing? Um, here, try to learn about English. <laughs> well, um, my name is Rafael Morales. I live in Cojillo, Quebec. Uh, chorizo land. And my expectation about my uh, process to learn learning English is uh, finally understand when the people talk, mm -hmm. when uh, understand when, when I, I watching a, a movie in English, but every day to me is so hard. I don't know why, but trying to learn uh, more and more, but uh, I don't know why it's so difficult to me, but um, I hope I uh, learned something more in this, in this class. And I try to use English in, in 
everything that I do, uh, when, when I cooking, I think in English, when I, 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 everything, everything I do, I thinking, try to say or, uh, or thinking, thinking in English, but, uh, but well, I, I, I try to learn just only, only that. Okay, that's important, Rafael. What you said is really important because some people, uh, even though they speak a lot of English, they have a lot of vocabulary, they know uh, a lot of English, they still think in Spanish and that's normal, right? So that's something that we have to avoid, like uh, try to do everything in English. Like, for example, if you're cooking, if we're trying to solve a problem, um, okay, no, no problem, Noel. Uh, if we are trying to, to I don't know, uh, try to say things in Spanish, uh, not trying to translate it into from Spanish to English, right? Try to start thinking in English. That's a very good thing that you're doing. Very good, perfect. Uh, let's see who else. Zulma Beatriz Perez, how are you? Where are you from, Zulma? Um, hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, here, here I, again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, my name is Sulma Perez. I live in Apopa. And my expectation is to um, practice more pronunciation and more listening. And the last pregunta uh, sería. Uh, pues just uh, reading the Biblia for the job the, of the church, mm -hmm. we start the prayer. So how, how that's how you practice your English, like reading the Bible and everything? Uh, in English? Uh, in English, yeah. Okay, that's really interesting. Very good, very good. That's good. Uh, and... Uh, do you only practice English uh, reading the Bible or do you use it with something else in the church? In the church. It's a new people, project. A new project. It's a new project. Okay. Do you, are you going to speak with uh, people from the United States or uh, any other country in the church? Uh, no, only to teach. La Colonia, nada más. <laughs> ah, okay. Very sí, good. Nada más los miembros, sería... Okay, very good. But that's good. If you try to teach or if you try to speak in English about the Bible in the church, that will help you a lot also. If you teach something uh, and if it is a project, that's that's good. Very good, Sulma. Nice to see you again. Very good. Let's see Rosa Maria del Milagro. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, where are you good from? Evening. Tell me. Yes, good evening. Tell me something about yourself. Uh, my name is Rosa Maria Milagro Perez de Paz. Mm -hmm. You can call me Rosa Maria. Mm -hmm. I live in Candelaria. And my, exp my expectation for this course is I uh, will be a person more participative mm -hmm. and try to talk with you and I use my English in today in all today because I am um, I am studying the university idioms so I have two class in the morning and the afternoon and and I want to practice more 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 pronunciation and and practice to grammar because for me it's difficult. Okay, but you're and studying it's... you're studying mm -hmm. at the university, right? Already English. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. So, what in what year is is your first year? Mm, my second year, but they consider 
that always is difficult. It's difficult for me in English. I understand. No problem. Yes, English <laughs> is kind of difficult sometimes, but we are going to practice and we're going to try to help you. Very good. Perfect. Let's see who else Thank is you. here. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Uh, who is Samsung SMN986U1? Uh, yeah, it's me, Porfirio. I joined from my cell phone because I was connected on my computer, but it wasn't working. Okay, no problem. Porfirio. But I guess, I guess you can hear me now. <laughs> yes, we can hear you now. Uh, where, are you, where are you from? Tell me. What are your expectations about this course? Uh, yeah, I'm from El uh, San Salvador in Ayutuzapeque. Uh, I'm 22 years old. Uh, my expectation for this class is uh, a lot of practice because uh, currently I'm working in a call center and I feel that I need more practice, more vocabulary and some structure from the uh, sentence to have a better uh, conversation with someone that practice every day the English. And yeah, that's how I do use my English in my daily daily life because I'm working in a call center. So that's my main purpose of being here is to practice even more and learn more because uh, you will not uh, like learn everything in life. So every day you are learning something else. Okay, nice to meet you, Porfirio. That's good. Actually, we have people here working in cold centers. That's great uh, because actually English is really important in those places. And if you have received uh, any feedback or something like that, or if you need some help in, in something else, please let me know through the classes, right? For example, at the end of every class, you can tell me, please, teacher, I would like to have this kind of exercise tomorrow or during probably next week more listenings, more videos, like, I don't know, uh, like a conversation exercise with my classmates. And we will be able to do that, right? So um, it's good for you to to practice while you're working because in that way you can practice it in your daily daily life, daily basis. Let's see, Jen C. Sure. Leon. Uh, nice to meet you, Profirio. Jen C. How are you, Jen C? Are you there? Can you use your microphone? Okay, let's go with next one, Claudia Marcella. Can you hear me, Claudia? No? Yeah, I cannot hear you because I don't know, probably, I'm sorry. Okay, no problem, Claudia. Yes, it seems I have a problem with my microphone, okay. No problem. Thank you, Claudia. Nice to meet you. Let's see, Rodrigo Antonio. How are you, Rodrigo? Nice to see you again. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? What are your expectations for this course? Uh, I need to practice pronunciation. Uh, I need to learn grammar too. Okay, and why do you want to learn English? Like, how how are you going to apply this this knowledge that, that you're going to acquire here? To apply um, this language in my work. Oh, in your job. Yes, but. Um, no sé cómo decir principalmente. Mainly? Mainly in, in reading. Do you read in English in your job? Just uh, yes. uh, books, uh, article, occasionally. Okay, like information from your job. Yes. Okay, I understand. Okay, very good. We will try to help you right now with, with vocabulary. That is important. And also pronunciation, right? If you want to improve your pronunciation, we will try to do something 
and also presentations and also conversations. Very good. Let's see who else is here. Nice to you see you me? again. Let's see who's speaking. Claudia? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'm going to introduce myself right okay. now. Okay, my name is, as you know, Claudia Marcelina Surquia. I live in Cincinnati. And well, I have a lot of problems with my English because my pronunciation, sometimes I forgot the structure of some sentences. And, and mainly when I felt uh, overwhelmed because um, I'm going to be honest, uh, sometimes I feel uncomfortable when I try to speak in English because, well, I need to have more confidence on myself. And well, it's that I really want to practice my speaking and my pronunciation because as the same my last classmate said, I have a problem with my ED sound, my the fire sound, sorry, of the verb in past. The regular verbs in past? Yeah, the regular verb in past. Okay, okay, we're going, thank you for letting me know that because I am taking into account everything you said right now because in that way I will be able to show you or to practice that, right? Actually, we are going to practice all of the tenses in this course. So that's good. And if you're having problems with that, I will I will let you know uh, some information that probably can be helpful for you. Very good. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Claudia. Let's see. Nice to, nice to meet you. Uh, let's see who else. Another person, please. Let's see. We have uh, Eliu, uh, Jose Jovito Torres. How are you, Jose? How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, where are you from and what are your expectations for this class? A repeat, please. I don't, I don't hear you. Yes. Uh, can you tell me what are your expectations for this class and like, where are you from? Something about you. Okay. For the class, my spec is learn. Mm -hmm. Learn about for the language. Mm -hmm. And I am from Santa Tecla. And, mm -hmm. and how do you use English in your daily life? E repeat. Uh, how do you use e English in your daily life? Like, why do you want to learn English? Give, give me a second. Okay. Do you hear me? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. 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 My specs for, for the class is um, much learn about the English. I am from South Tecla. I live um, I live about technologies for electrician. Mm -hmm. um, I have worked in this are electrician. Mm -hmm. And how do you mm -hmm. use how do you use the English in your daily life? Do you work for a company like you need to speak English or are you taking these classes because you want to change your job or you want to travel abroad? Uh, Sometimes I speak in English in my company mm -hmm. um, for the other ambient. Never, never speak in English. Mm -hmm. uh, more regular in the class for English for English corporation is about about a little a little speak English in this class. Okay, very good. That's good because uh, in this case we will be able to help you with that in your job, right? You need English, and hopefully we will be able to to help you with that. 
So you will practice a little bit more. Okay, then try to include it in your daily life. Let's see who else. Nice to meet you, Jose. And uh, let's see who else is here. Anna de Colorado. Can you hear me, Anna? Anna, are you there? No? Okay, Rosa Maria. Are you there, Rosa Maria del Milagro? Yes. Okay, you already participated now, right? Yes. Okay, and sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see. Nady is not able to speak right now. Erasmo Perla. Can you hear me, Erasmo? Um, okay. Yes. yes. Have you participated already? Sorry. Yes, yes. Um, um, my name is um, Erasmo Perla. Uh -huh. <clears throat> um, I live. Is um San Miguel. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my profession is a is a engineer agronomist. Mm -hmm. um, I work in, I work with a government institution mm -hmm. uh, in assessory assessoria in uh, food production. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes you need to to in, interact with uh, uh, produce uh, um, producers um, mm -hmm. and uh, leer, uh, I need um, leer articles articulo, relacionados uh, in, in English um, and my expect expectation is um, uh, mejorar el inglés. Okay, very good, Erasmo. Very good. Hopefully, we will be able to help you in this um, in these classes. Okay, if you have questions, if you want to read something specifically about that in the class, or if you want me to help you with something specifically, let me know, and we will be, we will be able to help you. Okay, nice to meet you, Erasmo, from yeah. San Miguel. Very good. Let's see who else is here. Uh, Rodrigo, Daniel Melendez, are you there? Yes, teacher. Good evening. I'm here. Good evening. Have you participated already? Sorry? No, right? Uh, no. Okay, Not tell yet. me something about you and what are your expectations for this class? Well, my name is Rodrigo Melendez and my expectation for this class is to sh give shape to what I learned in the previous course and practice more pronunciation and reading especially because in my daily life I used to need to search for information with books and it's many many of the time is in English so I would like to have more practice for the reading and actually in my job maybe sometimes I have to uh, to talk with something someone that speaking English so it can help me okay very good nice to meet you uh Rodrigo and hopefully you will uh try to practice reading because nobody has mentioned that before reading right and reading it can be uh, very useful if we want to learn vocabulary, right? Because, because we have the time to know how to write the, the word and then we can investigate the meaning and then we can investigate the pronunciation. So we are going to try to help you with that also. Very good, nice to meet you. Let's see, Alejandra Elizabeth. Are you there, Alejandra? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Tell me, uh, where are you from? What are your expectations? And what would you, how do you, or why do you want to practice English in this class? Well, my name is Alejandra Mendoza. I am from San Salvador. Um, what are my expectations? Um, well, in this moment, I, I began at the, a new work. I start at uh, March 
13th. And it's a, a the, el puesto is for accounts payable coordinator. And I have to talk with, with other countries. And, but is the, the, the media it's on writing and I want to write more in English because the communication is on chat or emails. And I, I want to improve that, that, uh, lo escrito más que todo. Mm -hmm. You're writing. Yes. Okay, very good. You see, everybody has different objectives, right? Speaking, listening, reading, writing. So in your case, it's the writing, right? Okay, very good. Thank you very much for your participation. Nice to meet you, Alejandra. Let's see who else is here. Uh, we have Jose Isaias Portillo. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, tell me, what are your expectations for this course? Where are you from? <laughs> and why do you want to learn English? How do you apply this knowledge in your daily life? Okay. Well, about me, uh, my name is Jose Portillo. I'm a lawyer. Um, I work in my own office. Um, and well, my expectation in this class is learn more about all writing, listening, uh, speaking. So, uh, because I think it's very important uh, to all uh, us. So um, I hope we can all learn about English. Very good, Jose, very good, perfect. Yes, actually we will try, we will try, right, to cover all of the uh, skills, like speaking, reading, writing, listening, and we will try to create our own language. We will give you tips also about how you can practice by yourself because actually here in the class we can do, but it's just like one hour, right, a day, and it's around the 20%. So we need to practice more outside of the class in your daily life. So I will give you some tools so you can practice by yourself. And nice to meet you, Jose Isaias. And let's see, Diego Anthony Melendez. Can you hear me, Diego? Hello, yeah. Okay, tell me, uh, what are your expectations for this class? Um... My expectation is to be able to perfectly understand the English language mm -hmm. for read and, and speak. Okay, and why uh, do you want to learn English? Uh, I, English is useful for me to understand information that is sometimes, sometimes only found in English. Mm -hmm. So you use it my... for your for your study? Are you studying something related to English or? Yes, yes. What are you studying? Uh, I study uh, engineer of systems. System engineering. Okay, very good. Yes, 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 actually, a lot of information is found in in English. So really good. We will try to help you with that also. Uh, nice to meet you, Diego. And let's see, um, Marvin. Are you there, Marvin? Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Hello. How are you? Where are you from? And what are your expectations for this class? Hello, my name is Marvin Salazar. from San Salvador. My expectation in this class is to practice more English. The, the vocabulary, the structure, the sentence, and doing more, more fluid in my English. And how do you use English in your daily life? Do you work with English or are you trying to learn because? No, to show. Sure. That's the most offensive knowledge. Unfortunately. I, 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 don't, I don't have people near me that speak English. 
in my world. Okay, I understand. No problem. But you're in the in the right place, right? Because if you want to learn, we will try to help you with that, and we will try to make you speak a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Nice to meet you. Also, we have Maria Azucena Ayala. Can you hear me, Maria? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, where are you from, and why do you want to learn English? Uh, I am from San Miguel. Um, I would like to learning or practicing. I think is the most important. Okay, and do you use English in your daily life, in your job, uh, in your school? Um, not too much. Uh, the only way is listen music in English, a movie. Uh, because I think this a uh, good way to learn the English too. Yes, exactly. Very good. Okay. Very good. Nice to meet you, Maria. It, it is true. We are. We need to use uh, books or music, whatever we like, to learn English. Very good. Yes. Let's see. Uh, nice to meet you, Maria. Jose Francisco Peña. Are you there, Francisco? Yes. Here okay. I am. Tell me, where are you from and <laughs> why do you want to learn English? Well, my name is Francisco and I am from Cabañas. Mm -hmm. uh, my expectation is, as all my classmates have said, I, we need to learn speaking, listening. In my case, I try to read a little more. Uh, and I want, I would like to learn how to link words mm -hmm. because uh, sometimes I feel I can read a lot and understand, but when I try to speak, I, I have problems speaking. So that's why I need to learn how to link the words. I understand. Yes, that's a problem. That's a, a common problem uh, that many people have. Right? Not only you, Jose Francisco, but many people I have these kind of issues like linking the ideas, the correct words, and if it is grammatically correct, right? So it's a long process. But we will try to yeah. help you. Uh, thank you, Jose Francisco. And we have Ana Garcia. Are you there, Ana? Tell me, where are you from and why do you want to learn in this class? Can you hear me, Anna? Yeah. Can you hear me, Anna? Hello, are you there? Okay, probably later. Uh, let's see here. Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem, man. Uh, somebody else, alguien que se me haya escapado o que no haya participado por alguna razón? Somebody else? No? Okay. So I think that we have everybody here, right? Nice to meet you all. As you can see, I have a lot of pressure, right? Because I, all your expectations, the pronunciation, your jobs, also opportunities, right, that we can have with English, right? Um, sometimes probably we might think English is not going to work or it's not going to, I'm, I'm not going to have any, any possibility or no, I'm not going to use it because in my job or in my family, I don't travel. But sometimes uh, something happens, right? And they tell you, can you speak English? What is your level? What is your level of English, right? Okay, and and they give you this opportunity, right? Because you need to learn English, you need to speak it. Uh, so that's that's the that's the problem, right? Sometimes that we have everything, we know how to do this, how to do that, how to manage or handle these kind of situations, but 
we need to speak English a little bit more, uh, like better, right? So uh, that's what we are going to do right now. I don't know everything, uh, as you can see, right? I, I am not like, even native speakers, they have problems with English, with grammar. But if I don't know something in the class, I will try to investigate and I will try to help you find the, the answer, right? If you have any questions. So I just have, uh, we just have, right, 10 minutes of class. And I will show you something uh, because in the future, probably I will ask you for um, for some um, ideas, right? Or to write a paragraph or to tell me about something, right? Like for example, um, I don't know, I write a paragraph about your life or I don't know. And I will expect you to, to tell me um, the information with uh, not that ma that many mistakes, but if you have any questions, obviously uh, we will try to help you here, right? So uh, these are tools that we can find in, on internet everywhere that can help us, right? To to better our English. So um, I will show you this just in the future. You might use this if you want to it's not an obligation probably you have your a different method to learn english or if you have also an application for pronunciation or something you can share it here in the class and i think that everybody will appreciate it so i will show you uh this is from another class from another student i asked them to write about their family. We're not going to talk about like families here or anything, probably in another kind of situation. But I asked this uh, person to write about their families. And this is a paragraph. This is for like an intermediate English, right? And um, let me see if, if this is helpful for you or not. And if you can find the mistakes here, right? And also if you can help me check this so i will share this information with you right now let me see here okay in google you can find these as spell checkers or grammar checkers if you have word in english also you can use word or google docs to find these kind of mistakes right if you have if you have it for english so uh this is what this person wrote, it says, when I was a child, maybe when I was four or five years old, I remember that I used to spend a lot of time with one of my older brother. We like to play together. He is around two years older than me. He was a person so patient. Even nowadays, he is. When I used to cry, he always used to set a jokes for me and immediately he used to give a hug. He used to did a lot of things for me because he doesn't like so me cried. He was so lovely at this time, even when I was so noisy and annoying. I think that my childhood was so incredible because he did the difference. As you can see in this grammar checker, we can use it to verify if everything is correctly uh, um, written, right? But the style is something that probably we are not going to fix in this kind of uh, tools, right, or websites. So in this case, what is the problem here in brother? Why is it brothers? Why is it incorrect? Who can tell me? ¿Por qué está incorrecto ahí? Uh, teacher. Uh-huh. In, because he just had one brother uh, say my older brother it uh, seems to me that he has other brothers exactly. or the idea is that he has more brothers exactly it says i remember that i used to spend a lot of time with one of my older brother with one right so it seems that she had more brothers so this is the correct one right very good, Ilyu. Thank you. So this is the correct one with one of my older brothers. Then it says, he was a person so patient. 
What is the problem here? He was a person so patient. It can be, he was a patient person. Exactly. This 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 person, uh, the girl who wrote this, she's thinking in Spanish, right? Él era una persona tan paciente. Writing in Spanish is correct, but but in English it's not like that, right? Because adjectives comes before the noun. So, uh, and we already know that he was a person, right? This is uh, like uh, in like thinking in spanish so we have to stop thinking in spanish and we can say he was so patient only that semicolon nowadays he is even nowadays come all right he is it's still strange the style she uh, when she writes this but uh, we will try to fix it later when i used to cry what is the problem here when i used to cry Why is it cry here and not uh, cried? It's because he used to cry, he is using the infinitive. When he exactly. used to, he must write cry, like infinitive, like in simple form. Exactly. I used to is an expression in English, right? Solía. When I used to cry, cuando solía, you're right. And the same is with used to say right is the same problem right so this uh person has problems with the tenses right and used to so if we use used to to cry he always used to say it, a jokes what is the problem here a jokes it is plural right a joke is singular for me comma and immediately he used to gave no right he used to give me a hug he used to did no right he used to do right and here there is a period uh be careful when you are writing like long sentences right because long sentences they are not very well used in english right so try to separate it by commas and periods next one this one right remove he used to do a lot of things for me because he doesn't like saw me cried. Let's see. He doesn't like saw me cry. No le gustaba verme llorar. Cry. I cry, right? He didn't, right? He didn't. Vamos a cambiar todo esto. Let's change. He didn't like to see me cry. Okay. And then he was so lovely at this time, even when I was so noisy and annoying, I think that my childhood was so incredible because he did the difference. He did the difference? No, right. He made the difference. As you can see, now we have better or written skills, right? It is still like kind of weird, but now we can understand better if it's with less mistakes. So we can use this. And at the end, I have problems with the pronunciation teacher. How can I better the pronunciation? Now everything is correct. Now, how can I practice the pronunciation? Very good. Now we have this. Um, are you able to see this? Yes. This page yes. is natural readers. This one is like an AI that you can uh, paste what we have, what you write there. And this person will read it for you. So you can check the pronunciation and also you can check the speed, right? For example, kind of slowly here. And it's the same, right? Let's see here. As you can see, it's the same paragraph, but I want to better my pronunciation. So you can check this. You can find it in Google. If you Google it, natural readers, are you uh, a reader in English? You will be able to find many of them. So let's listen to it. Let's see how... It is red. When I was a child, maybe when I was four or five years old, I remember that I used to spend a lot of time with one of my older brothers. We liked to play together. So if we want to increase the speed, we can uh, put it here, right? 
so more natural. We liked to play together. He is around two years older than me. He was so patient, even nowadays, he is. When I used to cry, he always used to say a joke for me, and immediately he used to give me a hug. He used to do a lot of things for me because he didn't like seeing me cry. He was so lovely at this time, even when I was so noisy and annoying. I think that my childhood was so incredible because he made the difference. So you see, that's the way that we can use. Um, can you share these links of those pages to WhatsApp group? Yes, I will share it at the end of the class. Actually, we finished the class now. So these are some tools that you can use by yourself, right? For example, oh, tomorrow the teacher uh, said that we have to provide a presentation, right? So I write my presentation and then I practice it in this way. So I, I listen and then I repeat, listen and repeat. I know it is repetitive, but probably this may help you. I don't know if you have any questions right now, any doubts, suggestions, preguntas. No? Okay, perfect. So I will share the links in the WhatsApp group and I will see you back tomorrow to study a little bit of, I guess, reported speech. So if you know something about reported speech, I investigate a little bit if you have time. If you don't have time, no problem, okay? But I will see you tomorrow at eight and have a nice evening and thank you for being here and your effort. Bye, nice to meet you. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Bye.